Next on this list is another... Jesus fucking Christ. Diction much? Next on the list is another Gel Light 3. It's the Reigning Champ Black. This is a, another one I found on eBay and <laughs> struck a deal. I'm not going to say that again. I'm not saying struck a deal again. No. When I got this in hand, I wanted the other ones immediately. Suede on this upper is so nice. The speckled midsole is great. The white outsole, I mean, it's not fucking white anymore because I wore them. This shoe is outstanding. I, I think there are, unfortunately, 19 better shoes on the list, but this is a great shoes one of my favorite pickups this year hand up i i went back to try to find all the gel 8 threes because i really thought that sean weatherspoon would just put out a gel 8 three and then everyone would love gel 8 threes i kind of thought they would blow up like sbs did this year have that kind of comeback and then they did not what was another collab oh i guess ronnie feig and then that end one i didn't really care for that one number 20 next on the list number 19 top 20 Wheat, COJP, Air Force One, Retro. I, I know they have the other Wheat Forces that are all Wheat, but I love this one so much better. The brown outsole, the brown on the fucking collar right here. Is this a collar? I don't remember what the fucking sneaker things are called. And I was going to look it up before I started recording, but I didn't do that. The materials in the shoe are really nice. Like, it's really, really soft, really lush. Drinking too much wine. Air Force One. A little lush. That's definitely getting cut too. To me, it looks like a Reese's. Like, with just this chocolate. And then all this peanut butter. But I guess it, it would be like a reverse Reese's. I like the shoe a lot. I like Forces. The reason it's so low, I guess you can only really wear it in the fall. Like, I would not wear this in July. Don't you lie to me. That's it. I'm done. This Number 19, Wheat Air Force One. And number 18 is the Michigan Dunk High. The leather on the shoe is so fucking nice. Why can't you make Jordan 1s, like, with this construction? Like, what is wrong with doing that? <sighs> Love it. It's number 18 because I don't really have an allegiance to Michigan. I like them better than Ohio State. I know homie's from Michigan. Does that count? The white midsole, for some reason, just makes it pop really, really well against the navy and the maze. Navy and maze is another color combo that's just killer it's amazing at number 17 the last Jordan one on the list the mocha or the untravis scott i'm not fucking putting pink laces in these you remember when sbs did that when like everything was like on this like unsend help unfutura that was one on heaven's gate i remember that one why do we stop doing that it's good shout out to shoe heat Terra Hope for this. It's Shoe Heat underscore TH on Instagram. Again, the leather's it's fucking fine. It's not anything special. This material on the back, this like really soft suede, I think it is. Maybe it's new book. No, it's not new book. Might be new book. I don't fucking know anything about sneakers. I don't know what it is with ones. I think I'm just too lazy to lace them. Like, I already paid 180 for the fucking shoe. I know that was like. A whole thing with Michael Jordan where, like, he would lace his shoes, like, before his games and stuff. But it was fucking 60 years ago. Lace them before you send them. I also like that back in here is not as puffy as the other ones. This is another one you can only really wear in the fall. It's a fall vibe shoe. Going to Flagstaff or Rhode Island and watching the leaves change. And number 16, halfway there. Halfway there. Halloween Orange Skeleton Air Force One. Oh, but now that's the fucking light of the laptop. Okay, so it's got good glow. We love her glow. I like this one better than the black one or the white one. This one is very, very Halloween. You very cannot wear it if it's not October or the beginning of November. I'm going to fucking wear it if the Mets allow fans or the Diamondbacks allow fans because I live in Arizona. Like, these are definitely getting worn to a Mets game. It's a neat shoe. I like shoes like this. Like, this is, it's different. Dress as a skeleton. You know, wear next year for Halloween. Why did kids do that? Why did kids think skeleton was like a good costume? Who thought it was a good idea? Number 15 is the Eric Emanuel Reebok question. Shout out to Jay who helped me out from Shanghai. Reebok made a really, really big deal about the question this year. They were the only ones that did. I don't understand how people did not go crazy for a pink toe question. 
when I scroll on Instagram or whatever, I never see people wear this shoe. Like, where are y'all at? Shanghai Soul is the only person I've ever seen actually with this shoe on foot. And myself. Leather is really nice. The pearlized right here is great. The blue outsole is great. A little EE -E on the back. That's all you need, won't. That's all you need for a collab. I have way too many Eric Emanuel shorts. Well, I got ones that match with these. Pink snakeskin. So that's how I roll. I really cannot dress. Holy shit. At number 14, we're getting to the really, really good stuff now. To the cream of my pickup crop. Pause? Just because I said cream. <laughs> Blue Ribbon J Crew A6 Gel Light 3. This shoe was kind of a unicorn for me because I feel like not a whole lot of people sell this shoe not really that it's really rare or limited or anything but just not a lot of people who bought it like we're looking to get rid of it shout out to sneaker grandpa look sneaker grandpa man anything that you have in a 10 i'm paypal ready don't i'm always paypal ready there are two more shoes on this list that i cop from sneaker grandpa the materials on this shoe the shape on this gel light three this is how gel light threes should look the little right i love these when it the shape is so good when it gets the little wrinkles in the front that's choice that is fucking choice Mwah. i just realized i touched the bottom of the shoe and then went Mwah. that's probably not good suede is outstanding the color blocking here something i just noticed the little darker blue hits here and then the light blue in the back and the front this shoe is a masterpiece this shoe is a masterwork j crew do not go bankrupt we need more stuff like this at 14 is another gel light 3 the ronnie feig selvage denim these i found on ebay these were destroyed i did my best to bring them back it doesn't really matter like this shoe looks better beat anyway i think that's true for basically any denim shoe again more of these little wrinkles in the front <sighs> the shape on the shoe is so good and just the little baby red hits here the red under the logo gel light threes with rope laces remember when rope laces were a thing is rope lace supply still around i feel like rope lace should pull that's really fucking hard to say. Rope lace supply? Oh, I guess it's not that hard. One of Ronnie Feig's best. A really, really underrated shoe. And I did not get it for a whole lot since they were beat up. They also, the guy who sent these on eBay sent them, they were like wrapped in like two t-shirts. So I got these and like two bonus t-shirts from Kirkland. So shout out to him. 12 to 1. Just actual banger. Number 12, the Captain Blue Pata Diodora N9000. Among Diodora heads deodora talk people deodora talkers deodora enthusiasts that's probably the best one this shoe is among the best it is magnificent dark blue here the light blue all over the upper the little red hits just this grayed out midsole the pata on the back pata in the front pata in the back and i love the j crew blue ribbons have these two just laces with these little these little patterns like are fucking so great more flat laces should have something like these if jordan ones came with some laces like these i might lace them up well, i might actually put in the work to lace them up if the lace was that fun yeah a fun lace put it around my neck next on the list is the new balance 992 oh gee at number 11 fuck this shoe is so good good fucking lord this shoe is good gray upper the dark gray on the paneling there the i mean that's it new balances in gray you can literally never go wrong for those of you that have this here's a, here's a pro tip for next halloween these black pants black turtleneck pair of glasses steve jobs well, easiest halloween costume ever and an iphone in your hand well i'm doing it we should all do it we should have steve jobs march in cupertino <laughs> Where the fuck is Kubi Is that where Apple was founded? I bought this iPhone. is the first iPhone I've ever had. And I bought it like a month ago. Shout out to AirDrop. I don't know what I did before AirDrop. I would wait so long for shit to like load and send. Number 11. 